The largest ever Balikatan joint exercises are being carried out as we speak. The U.S. and the Philippine presidents have also just concluded their summit in Washington. In a press release, the U.S. State Department said both countries strongly oppose the use of force that violates territorial sovereignty. It also reiterated that the importance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. The Philippines and the U.S. have jointly called Beijing to abide by the South China Sea judgment and cease dangerous behaviors that violate UNCLOS. Professor Ona, as tensions continue to rise with deepening cooperation between the U.S. and the Philippines, what does this mean for regional tensions? I think um, the Philippines has been very clear right from the start. Um, it wants to avoid any escalation of the conflict in uh, the South China So you don't China see this as being the next flashpoint between the U.S. and well, China? Well, it can be if, um, you know, if uh, some countries will continue to, um, to uh, not mind or to disregard uh, the rule of law in international law. But as far as the Philippines is concerned, um, it has its own interests and it must, um, you know, it must, um, it must abide by uh, the rulings of the uh, arbitral court. Ronan, a lot of analysts around the world have praised the Philippines in terms of um, its internationalizing mm -hmm. these disputes with China and that it has garnered much support even though there are rising tensions with China. What do you see in terms of that? Do you feel this is a plus for Philippines? Uh, not necessarily. But like you said, I think uh, the Philippines is doing the right thing by standing very firm, uh, whereas not to provoke the bear or, or poke the bear too much. But I do want to point out that in international politics, there's always the notion of unintended consequences or unintended escalation. So the fact that Philippines is trying to embrace the notion of internationalizing the issue, plus trying to strengthen the, the ties with like-minded, uh, in this case, democratic countries from all over the world. So basically it's sending a very signal of its resolve and the incentive to uh, protect its sovereignty. But at the same time, we have to be aware of the fact that China is uh, trying to make the case that it's basically playing plug politics and gunboat diplomacy, you know, uh, showing that the Philippines is trying to side with uh, external powers such as the United States, Australia, and Japan. So this kind of dynamics can potentially lead to some unintended consequences. So that's the reason why we have to manage the crisis while deterring, you know, Chinese full aggression. Being vigilant, as Taiwan is also one of the prime targets of Chinese aggression, yeah. do you feel there's more room for Taiwan and the Philippines to work together? And do you see more cooperation? I certainly believe so, um, because um, we are confronted by the same type of threat. Um, I believe that um, Taiwan, the Philippines share common challenges when it comes to its maritime zones. Um, plus the fact that uh, some of our islands is in close proximity uh, of Taiwan. And uh, in an event of any Taiwan contingency, um, we can be affected as well. Um, we have like 200,000 uh, workers mm -hmm. here in Taiwan. So evacuating them would be a challenge for us. Uh, plus the fact that we have a mutual defense uh, treaty with the United States. So any time that the United States would ask the Philippines to uh, be part of an effort a military effort or, you know, um, uh, a similar effort of the Philippines can't say no, I mean, uh, because of our treaty obligations. And that could involve Taiwan as well. Yeah, so I don't see the, the possibility where, you know, Philippines coming in, trying to help Taiwan to against a full-scale Chinese aggression. I don't think that's possible. However, that being said, I think both countries can work on detecting, you know, and deterring Chinese gray zone tactics. I think both countries can cooperate and engage in deeper cooperation on that front. Uh, that's, uh, and given the that the Philippines is one of Taiwan's closest neighbors, it's closest yeah, to the Yeah, so, so like proximity and the facing mm -hmm. very similar kind of threat.